Good evening. Welcome to KJV Reviews. Tonight I've got a Bible that I want to review that is out of print. Um, it isn't actually the print of the Bible that's the issue. It's the type of cover that's on it that's the issue. This is a local church designer series, mid-size, wide margin Schofield. This Bible is absolutely awesome. Now it's not a red letter edition because they weren't they didn't have the red letter editions of the Schofield at this time. Like church Bible publishers now does, which I absolutely love. But this Bible is one of the softest Bibles I have ever held. Now I do own a Bible that was gifted to me by a friend of mine from AA Leather, which is lined with cowhide and got cowhide on the outside and it is so soft but any one that i've ordered from either like local church or church of course this was before church bible, bible publishers was out but they discontinued this model this was their designer series okay this the item number on this one and I haven't did anything with it. I've kept it. I've wanted to use it as my main Bible, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I don't know if you have that problem. If you have several Bibles like me, I'm weird, I guess. But here's the item number. 300D3B. Manufacture date 614. So there's the three-piece designer black. Of course, the 300 would be for the Schofield. But see, it has the pages in here, and it has the translators to the reader. It has the presentation page, marriages, deaths, husband's family tree, wife's family tree. And then it goes on in here to the title page, and then there are the, the translators to the reader. does not have the pistol dedicatory. That's all right. Like I said, it's not a black letter. Very crisp and clean and a pretty decent margin over here for there's nothing in the gutter a little bit down here a little up here but there's 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 quite a bit of space over here i don't know what that is but anyhow this bible is so went right off the bat i mean it's got some you know standard ribbon markers but what makes this Bible so awesome is the cover. Look at this. This is so awesome. I mean, I wish they would have never stopped making these. I am so glad that I got one before they got rid of them. I'm telling you, until you unless you could feel this thing, you can't understand how soft this is. It just feels so nice. And it does have the raised hubs. I mean, you can see there's, they're, they're very shallow. Not very prominent, but they're there. Stamping, good. Authorized King James, of course. But this is the three piece that has the stitching. I mean, look at that. That grain is amazing. Why would they discontinue this one? I don't know. It had to have been something with their supplier. But I mean, this thing, this cover, I mean, it is so, so soft. Top grain cowhide. I mean, what are you going to say about that? It's amazing. And it just feels so so super soft it just i mean look how it lays you can tell how limp the cover is it's just so soft and it feels so good in your hand i love it sorry got some notes over there but i don't take this bible out of the house let me tell you uh, i've got an issue uh, i know this is not some kind of therapy meeting but i do have i have an issue and i need I'd like to know in the comments if you have this problem. 
I was talking with a good friend of mine who also collects Bibles um, about this before. <laughs> We're always talking about it. He understands me, and I'm sure there's plenty of you out there that do understand me as well. I write in my Bible. I do. I'll bring out my other Schofield Bible that I bought for myself back in 19, I believe it was in 96, uh, when I was in Hawaii in the Air Force. But... I still use that Bible, but it's falling apart, right? So I said, I need to get me a really good Bible that'll last me the rest of my life. And then local church came on the scene. And then this came on the scene, and I was like, okay, it's a Schofield. The only thing that's missing is it's not a red letter. Now, some people don't, that don't matter to them. I mean, I don't really care if it is or not to own it. But to, do, to use it every day, I like it to be a red letter edition. That's just me. Everybody has their preference. If this was a red letter, it would be awesome. But it ain't. But still, regardless of that, when I got this and pulled it out of the packaging and felt of this cover and held this thing and I was holding it like this and looking at it and I was like, wow. Wow. This is going to be my new everyday Bible. Perfect size. I mean, you know, like I said, this mid-size is good for me to carry. I mean, just opened up flat right out of the box. Beautiful. Room to take notes. But you saw the manufacture date of this. What year is it now? 2018. It's been sitting in on my bookshelf I've tried to pick it up four or five different times and say, look, I'm going to start transferring stuff from my old Bible into this Bible to make this my new Bible. And then they discontinued them, and I'm like, I just can't do it. I, I mean, I will get to the point where I open the Bible and have my pen, and I'll be ready to take some notes, and then I'm like, okay, I'm going to do it. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. And I close it and I put it back up on the shelf. What's wrong with me? I don't know. But the thing is, it's sad. It's, it's pathetic, really. But um, it's just this issue that I have that it's, it's such a nice Bible. And, you know, I don't believe in wasting a Bible. If someone really needed a Bible, I would give this to them without a shadow of a doubt. I bought one of these for a pastor buddy of mine before they went out of print. He still uses it. He preaches out of it. He's not like me. He's not a scaredy cat to get in there and use it, you know. But it's his, it's his, one of his only Bibles he has. So me, I've got several. I've been blessed for the Lord to be able to let me get several of these. Of course, I've given many Bibles away, bought Bibles. The Lord put it on my heart uh, when these Bibles came out to buy Bibles for some people. And, and God provided for me a way to do that. And I was very, very thankful for that. But I just can't bring myself to write in it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me, but enough about my sad issues um, with marking and Bibles. This Bible, I wish that they would bring back this type of cover. I wish church Bible publishers, if you're watching, please find a way to bring this back. If I could get this Bible in a large print, wide margin Schofield red letter, that would be the greatest thing ever. So I just want to let you know that if you had a chance to get one of these, I hope you did. I hope you didn't miss your opportunity. I wish I had a bunch of them to give to everybody, but I only got this one. But I hope you enjoyed this review and get in there and read your Bible and write in it if you have to. God bless you.